What is The Riddler's Revenge? The Riddler's Revenge is a steel stand-up coaster manufactured by B&M. The ride won set records for being the tallest, fastest and longest stand-up coaster ever built. It also featured the most inversions, a total of six, on any B&M stand-up coaster at the time of its opening. Riddler's Revenge opened on the 4th of April 1998 and is located at Six Flags Magic Mountain in California, USA. It measures 48 meters high and features the iconic B&M pre-drop before banking left into the first drop. At the bottom of the 45 meter drop, the trains are traveling at speeds of up to 65 miles per hour. Directly after the first descent is a vertical loop which wraps around the lift hill. This loop design is present on only four roller coasters worldwide. The Riddler's Revenge, Kumba at Busch Gardens, Banshee at Kings Island, and flash at lower adventure. The loop of the ride was also once the world's tallest, measuring 38 meters high. The roller coaster cost roughly 14 million US dollars to produce and was once the park's single most biggest investment. Riddler's Revenge can be found in the movie district of the park and comprises of six inversions, a vertical loop, two dive loops, an incline loop, and finally two corkscrews. The track of the ride measures 1,330 meters long, leading to a total ride time of around 77 seconds, from when the train leaves the chain to when it hits the final brake run. Each train of the ride has 8 cars, with riders seated in rows of 4. This leads to a total of 32 riders per train. Overall, 3 trains navigate the track at once, leading to a throughput of 1,610 riders per hour. As the name suggests, Riddler's Revenge is themed around the DC Comics character, Riddler. To match the colour scheme of the character, the ride has a green track with black supports. The logo of the ride is the well-known question mark associated with the Riddler. It can be found at the entrance of the ride, as well as on the front of each train. The Riddler has a well-known arch enemy. Batman. Interestingly, Batman the Ride is located directly next to the Riddler's Revenge. Batman the Ride opened in 1994 and is one of the many Batman themed roller coasters across America. As stated at the start of the video, the Riddler's Revenge is a stand up coaster. This means that the riders are in a standing position as they navigate the track. Stand up coasters are often considered to be more intense than traditional sit down variations due to the standing nature. Interest in stand up roller coasters has diminished over the past decade. The last stand-up coaster to be constructed was Georgia Scorcher, which opened in 1999. Several stand-up rides have undergone rethemes, while others have been converted into flawless coasters. Prime example of this is Rugaru, a flawless coaster which was previously named Mantis and features stand-up trains. Some people state that stand-up coasters are uncomfortable, while others get frustrated at the slow loading process. Should manufacturers produce new stand-up coasters? What do you think?